Let's start the clock. When you are giving a presentation, did you know that hand gestures give listeners confidence in the speaker? Unless, of course, the gestures are crude or disrespectful. I would avoid those, but otherwise using two hands above the waist reflects complex thinking. Mentally divide your audience into thirds and give each section their own eye contact and attention. Take the time to give one person eye contact when directly asking a question or making comments. It will make that person and everyone around them feel that you are making direct eye contact with them. Finally, move around the room. It looks like you are animated and makes you look a lot more confident. Second, it's gonna happen. Someday you're going to have to look for a job. I'm sorry. But when you're in an interview, avoid nervous gestures such as rocking back in your chair, repeatedly shaking your foot, or even drumming your fingers. You don't wanna look like the type of employee that can't stay focused. Also, don't cross your arms, slouch, or stare blankly. Instead, sit up straight, lean slightly forward to that person, not occasionally to show interest, but not too much. You don't wanna look like a bobblehead. Finally, avoid strong perfumes or colognes. All right, we gotta hit the pause on the clock here. Guys, I know that Axe commercials have convinced you that you'll be a ladies man by wearing it, but quite frankly, it smells like bug spray and nobody likes it, so you just need to stop. All right, on that note, here's some advice for when you are talking to somebody you like. Your body, hands, and feet should be facing the person so they know that you are fully engaged in the conversation. Use extended eye contact, then shyly look away and back again. Move towards the person and close the space between you. Also, guys, if you see a girl touching her hair a lot, it means she's probably into you. Don't touch your face, though. Itching any part of your face is a nervous gesture that may indicate that you are not being completely honest. The most important part of body language is that most of the time, it's not what you say, but how you say it. You can just ask these guys. Well, it looks like my time is up. Hopefully you can tell from my body language that I'm a bit relieved. 